Good morning guys and welcome to another weekly vlog. It is Monday morning now and I am just getting myself together and getting Nora some breakfast. My mom is actually still in town. She's been here for several weeks now and um, she's gonna be in town for the next few days before she heads back home. So it's been wonderful having her here and um, just spending the beginning of 2021 with us. But I'm gonna get Nora some breakfast and her nanny's coming here in a few minutes and I have a mentorship session that I am running here in about an hour and a half. So we've got a lot going on today. Welcome to our Monday. Good morning. What are you doing? Are you ready for some breakfast? Hello. Yeah, let's go get some breakfast. So here's Nora's breakfast so far. She has some cut up blueberries and blackberries, some strawberries and some blueberry yogurt. Isn't that right? And then um, I gave her her utensils. She's getting really good with utensils. Yes, you sure are. Are you gonna show off? That's right, you use the spoon and the yogurt. Good job. Of course, Charlie's always waiting in the wings, ready for anything that might drop. And um, I am gonna have a bagel. So one of my sweet subscribers, Catherine, who lives in New York and is just so sweet. I was talking about her in a recent Vlogmas video because I was talking about how she sent us bagels when I was pregnant with Nora and I was talking about how that was my number one craving. And just as a little just because gift, she sent us another box of bagels. And so here's one of them and they come all, this one's, I've unwrapped it to see what flavor it is, but it, they're all wrapped up really tight when they come and in a freezer pack. And um, they're from this place in New York called Essa Bagel. And um, they are delicious. So this one's onion and I'm gonna cut it up and have some and I'll give some pieces of it to Nora. The other thing I wanna talk about for breakfast this morning is this creamer. This creamer is another thing I wanna talk about. This is delicious. If you like Dunkin' Donuts hot coffee, you will love this. This is basically just cream and sugar. And um, if you brew a pot at home of Dunkin' Donuts coffee and then add a splash of this, it tastes exactly like if you got it from the actual store. We don't have a Dunkin' Donuts anywhere near us. Like it's like an hour drive away, so we never ever get it, but I love their hot coffee. I don't think, their um, cold or espresso drinks are as good, but I really like their hot coffee. So anyway, highly recommend. This is hard to find. I found it's not in my local Tom Thumb, which is a Safeway brand store, but it is in our local Walmart. So if you are a Dunkin' Donuts person, totally go and check this out. This It's the extra, extra Dunkin' Donuts coffee creamer. So, so good. I've gotten my mom totally hooked on it while she's been here. So I'm gonna make my bagel and have a cup of coffee. A great way to start out a Monday. So while my bagel's toasting, I thought I would give you a brief overview of under our kitchen sink because I recent re recently reorganized it. So I bought this little hanging basket. So on one side, it's a hook. So we put dish towels on the one side and then on the other side, it's this basket. So I bought these large bar mop cloths and um, they're just like a texture, a really nice textured cloth. They work super well for cleaning up messes in the kitchen. We really like them. We use them all the time. So I bought a whole, whole bunch of them and um, I wanted white so I could bleach them when I got like coffee or red wine or whatever on them. And I have extras over here. And then we have some cleaning supplies and I put all of our dishwasher pods in this um, little tub just as an extra line of defense. These cabinets are all child locked and um, Nora cannot get into them, but just as an extra line of defense. Um, these are in here and then I have our um, extra trash bags in here. So. Just a little easy cleanup refresh for the new year. I'll link the basket and the bar mops and I actually bought this container off of Amazon as well. So I'll link that. These are from um, the container store. So there you go. Yum, thank you so, so much, Catherine. This looks amazing. I gave the other half to Norni and she's having a great time eating it. All right, I had a mentorship session earlier and then um, I had some lunch and now, this is about one third of one design. I currently have the most open orders I've ever had in my Etsy shop in history. I have like 610 open orders, which equates to about 1700-ish garments, somewhere between 15 and 1700, leaning more towards 1700. So here's like a small portion of them, but I'm gonna start cracking because I have got to be like the packaging queen to get these all out in time. So let's get cracking. Here comes 
comes Nora with her winter coat because she wants to go outside and play, which we are gonna do in a minute. Hi guys, it's Tuesday now. It's Tuesday now. I know, we're gonna go outside in just a minute. And um, I am getting my hair cut and colored, colored for the first time ever. I have never gotten balayage, I've never gotten highlights, I've never done anything to color my hair in my whole life. And I'm 29 years old, and my word for the year is vibrant, and I'm just gonna try something new. You wanna put it on? So I am going to my friend's salon. Okay, we can go outside. Who is just about the only person who I would trust um, with this, because I really don't even know what to ask for because I've never even done this before. So, you guys know, here's the before. It's been the same the whole time that I have been on YouTube because it's just my hair. This is just my hair color. I really like my hair color. I'm not changing the color. I just am, I think she called it baby lights like balayage baby lights, just adding some, a little bit of dimension, a little bit of some lighter tones. So, here's the before. And after! I got back a couple of hours ago. It's unfortunately dark outside, so the lighting is not great, but I got my hair cut by quite a lot, several inches off and some layers added in. And for the first time ever, I got some highlights. So I, this is actually balayage and it's looking a lot warmer on camera than it is. In fact, it's not really warm at all. It doesn't have like the gold undertone much at all. It's very, very like cool blonde because that's what I wanted. And I really love it. Like I just love it. It's just like a little refresh. Um, so super good experience. If I didn't already say, I've spent all day today packaging Etsy orders and the previous few days we have the most open orders we have ever had, which is awesome, but also obviously it's been a lot of work. So I'm actually currently right in this moment in a conversation um, going back and forth with someone who may have a commercial studio space that I may begin renting out. We'll see, we'll see because <laughs> Our house is taken over with garments and I just need more space to spread out and sort and whatnot. So we will see if that works out, but I wanted to show you my hair. I'm so, so happy with it. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday now. I look like I just got lip injections, but I didn't. I just sort of exfoliated my lips and put um, chapstick on them. So they're just looking some kind of way. Anyway, it is Wednesday morning, it's about nine o'clock and our nanny is gonna be here just in a couple of minutes. My mom's on a call with a client and once um, our nanny gets here, I'm gonna get to work. I have so much work, I have so much work. So it'll be great to have a couple of hours, all three straight hours of dedicated work. And then unfortunately, right after she leaves, we have to go ahead and take my mom to the airport because she flies home today. So she's been here for like two and a half weeks. It's been so nice, it's been so nice. So. We will miss her dearly, won't we? Yeah. Nora, say good morning. She's so sweet. Okay, let's get some coffee for mommy and some breakfast for Nora, Nora, okay? Hey guys, I just got back from the airport with my mom and Nora. Um, my mom's not here now. I just got back from dropping my mom off at the airport with Nora, if that makes sense. So she slept, Nora slept the whole way back home and then, um, She's, I'm feeding her some lunch right now. We had our chimney sweeper guy come and sweep our chimney and inspect it. And the company that we use locally is actually a company made up of off-duty firemen, which is really cool. And so he came in and did the full inspection and swept our chimney and cleaned it out. And he said that it was um, dirty but not dangerous, which is the right time to have your chimney swept. So I was really... Really excited about that. So this morning while our nanny was here and while my mom was packing up and she had a client this morning, I got um, probably about 75 garments sorted. And then what I need to do, of course, is package them up and get those mailed out, which is gonna be fantastic. So it's been a good day. I, it was sad to see my mom go. We were all teary-eyed at the airport because it's just so hard but it was wonderful that she was here for so long. We had so much fun. So I'm gonna go make sure that Nora has had enough to eat and make sure that she's fed. And then I'm gonna work on packaging these orders. 
Look what I just got in the mail. I have wanted to try making my own hot cocoa bombs ever since they took the internet by storm. And so I bought these off of Amazon. I'll link them below. They are circular molds. So I have need I have needed to do. <laughs> I need to do some research on these. I mean, it's pretty simple. You just do like melted chocolate in here, let it harden, and then put it on a skillet so it gets flat, and then pour the hot cocoa mix in the middle, and then push them together. So in theory, it's a pretty simple process, but I'm going to try it out a little bit, and then I might make a video um, sharing what I have you know, found. But I thought this would be a fun little Valentine's Day gift to friends and family and things like that, or just maybe a fun little activity. So got some hot cocoa molds. Excited. These two are hanging out reading Nora's favorite book, well, her second favorite book. Her favorite book is Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? By far. By far. She loves it. But she also likes this book, which is just called Hi. It's pretty fun. And she watched, she'll say bye-bye. Say hi. And say bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? Da, 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 da. <laughs> so da, 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 da. You see how clean our fireplace is after the chimney guy oh, came? yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it. Can you tell? Did he say anything about it? He said it was um, dirty, but not dangerously dirty. And he said it was the perfect time to call him. So well done, babe. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday now, and I am getting Nora breakfast again. She's watching her favorite show, which is Puppy Dog Pals. I'm exhausted. It's been a really heavy work week, but our nanny is coming here in the next couple of minutes to watch Nora for the morning so I can get some more work done. I have already packaged up a few hundred orders and I have a few hundred more to go, but I am cranking them out. I made myself a yummy iced Americano, maybe an iced latte, kind of depends on your point of view. <laughs> I don't feel like getting into it. And I have a bagel pop that just popped out of the toaster from my friend Catherine who mailed them to us from New York. Amazing. So I'm gonna have a bagel and some coffee and then get to work. So I just finished up um, packaging up Etsy orders this morning. There were so many <laughs> and there are still so many. So in light of that, I am actually going right now to meet Riley at a potential office studio space for me and I'm so excited. It's looking really, really promising. I'm just really excited. This was definitely on my list of goals for the year is to sort of level up my business. And the best way to describe it is that I feel like if you've ever driven a manual car, if you've ever driven stick shift, fun fact, my first car was stick shift. So I drove it for like two or three years. I'm very good at it. Um, very proud of it too, as you can tell. Um, it feels like I'm in a lower gear and I'm just continuously revving the engine with regards to my business. Like there are just too many orders and things like that given the current space and I need to um, shift up a gear. And so, like I said, kind of time to level up. So we're gonna go look at this office studio space. Like I said, it looks really promising. I'm really looking forward to checking it out. I hope that it works out really well. Um, and it's available March 1st, so we wouldn't be able to get into it right away, but that would give me a little bit of time to sort of think through it and maybe buy some shelving and things like that. But we need to go see it first, and I brought a measuring tape and all of that, so I'm really excited. Good morning! I am feeling so much better today after getting a good night's sleep last night. I was just bone tired. I was totally ready for some sleep, so I got some really good sleep last night. And um, I'm up and Adam here on, it's Friday already, that's crazy. Our nanny's coming for the morning as usual so I can get some work done. Um, I still have quite a bit of packaging to do. I don't have a mentorship session to run today. I usually have one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I blocked off this Wednesday and Friday because I knew I had a lot of work to do and I uh, wanted to, oh, with regards to Etsy. All right, let's get some breakfast, Nora, and let's get our day going. Hey guys, it is just about 4.45 p.m. here on Friday afternoon and Riley and I just went over and saw another um, office space option today. Um, it was funny, the one that we saw yesterday was like the polar opposite of this one in so many different ways. So I was joking, I was like, one is on one end of the spectrum and one is on the other end of the spectrum and I kind of wish there was some kind of option in the middle. The one we saw today really needs a lot of work, um, but the monthly rent is lower. 
the one we saw yesterday was really really nice um, maybe even nicer than I really need and so we were kind of tossing back and forth but the one that we saw today doesn't have access to a bathroom and the landlord said that the air conditioning is really um, like poor in the summer and we live in Texas. So for those two reasons, I just don't think that's really a viable option. So I think we're gonna go ahead and put, um, I'm gonna set a put an offer in, sign the lease um, for renting the one yesterday, which I'm super excited about. And um, I'm just so excited. I'm so, so excited. And I'm excited to bring you guys along with like, I can show you before we move all of our stuff in then we're gonna have to get like shelving and things and get it all set up and I'm just really looking forward to it we have definitely outgrown our living room and it's time um, it's time to step it up it's time to level up so anyway I can hear the train just went by so I'm gonna go ahead and get home after the train leaves and um, I'll talk to you guys later so I just got home from Riley's office and I got three things in the mail. Both of these sets of cloth napkins are from the same company on Etsy. The company is called Lake Lady Design Company. I will leave a link below. They are so cute and handmade, hand sewn, so adorable. So I got this set when they unfold their like big squares um, of the hot pink with white polka dots for Valentine's Day. I thought they would be super cute, you know, with our white dishes, so cute. And then I thought these were really neat and like just such a neat pattern with the kind of colorful cheetah on the white. Again, I thought this would be a fun print to have as a pop of color and kind of a pop of interest with our white dinner plates and whatnot. So I ordered a set of these cloth napkins from her for Christmas time and I used them super, super heavily, like almost every night. And if you remember, it was sort of like a, a vintage looking Christmas fabric. It was like a woman decorating her tree. I loved it. A lot of y'all loved it too. Um, and so I wanted to order some for Valentine's Day and then just generally some new interesting napkins. Um, and I love using cloth napkins. It just like adds a layer of sophistication to the dinner table, even when you're just having like, you know, freezer pizza or whatever. I also got these. These are called Ice Creed Clean and um, they're basically like these little furry fuzzy spheres that you I don't know, you used to take like fingerprints and stuff off of like your phone or your iPad or whatever. So let's give it a shot because these were rated really highly on Amazon. I'll leave a link below, but I can't give a review yet, but let's try them. Okay, so here's my phone and here is one of these. There we go. So on one side it looks like this and then on one side it looks like this. So I guess you're supposed to start with this side to buff away fingerprints and grime and whatnot. Wow, that actually works really, really well. And then you use this side to really make it look good. Wow, that like totally worked. Okay, here, this is why I really got it for my iPad. So let's pull this one out. This is the larger size, it comes with a large size, a small size, and then a keychain size, which is kind of neat. So we're gonna use the larger size. Here we go with the before, you see that? Pretty bad. Wow, look at the difference. These are great. I probably will put this keychain on my key ring because I would probably use it all the time. So there you go, three new things on a Friday afternoon. As you saw, I just switched out the sheets on her bed and I also washed our towels, which I need to put away. And Nora's running around with her baby, who she loves very much. But I wanted to do a little update on this pillow. I talked about this probably in October or November, maybe even September, it's been a while. What do you think? Yeah. This, this is called the Sutera pillow. I will leave a link to it below. It's a really interesting um, <laughs> sort of design. <laughs> Here, you want to get up? You can get up. Here you go, baby girl. She's our... Mm -hmm. Oh, you want your baby now? Here you go. Say thank you, Mommy. Yeah. 
Anyway, it's a really interesting design. So basically, there is this divot here for you to put your neck in, and that way if you're laying on your back, your neck is super supported, and if you're laying on your side, there are these sort of cutouts, so you can kind of put your arm like that so your shoulder's not like jerked under your pillow. Anyway, after using it for three or four months, and you putting your baby to bed, after using it for three or four months, I do put a pillowcase on it, but I left it off so that you could see the shape of it. I can say it is by far my favorite pillow I have ever had, the best pillow I have ever had. I love it so much. It has done such wonders for my neck pain. I just can't even explain to you how much I love this pillow. So I will link it below. It's worth every single penny. I, I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is not sponsored. They don't know who I am. <laughs> um, but I bought it because I had heard good things about it and I wanted to give it a shot. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? Look at her, wild woman. Hey, get down. Hey, get down. Ah. Yeah, boom. <laughs> I'm gonna put a pillowcase on this and then our sheets are done for the day and I'm gonna go ahead and put the towels, or for the week, I'm gonna go ahead and put our fresh towels back up too. <laughs> you're wild. Something I did this year for the first time ever was in the new year, I went through my socks <laughs> and I bought two packs of these socks. I have a pair on now. Nora's blocks, Nora's blocks, Nora's purse. Um, and they come in all different colors and they're just these really comfortable kind of white athletic socks. And I got rid, I wear these like 360 days a year. There's only like a couple days a year I don't wear them. And I got rid of all, I have a couple other pairs that are new within the last couple of months, but I got rid of all my other old pairs because they, they're five or six years old and they were just dingy and worn out and like threadbare. And it feels so good every morning. I bought these off Amazon. I will link them below. I bought two packs of them. I think each pack had maybe six, um, six pairs. So I have 12 fresh pairs and it's just like such a nice thing. I also bought new underwear um and did the same thing i got rid of anything that was old got a some fresh new pairs i bought them from soma i really like soma um for undergarments they have great bras and underwear and um it just feels so nice getting dressed because it's like you know those are the little things so highly recommend that if you've not done that i also um i told you last time i went through all of my drawers and got rid of anything that i don't wear so these are obviously all of my t-shirts um and it's just a handful mostly my own um, from my shop and um, I did get this this is called the seam free turnaround tank from Soma when I ordered those underwear I got this um, I ordered this as well and I thought it would be good for going under things so on one side it's a v-neck on one side it's a scoop neck but it's this really nice um, really soft stretchy material and it's like an ivory color so I got that and I haven't even worn it yet so the tags are still on it but I just did like a little refresh this is, oh, that is just gorgeous folding. Beautiful, Blair. Beautiful, beautiful. It was just really nice to do a little refresh um, of underwear and socks and um, go through my drawers so that when I'm getting dressed in the morning, there's not all these old janky things that I never wear that don't fit me. It's like, I feel good getting dressed in the morning because it's things that I wear and all of that. So it's after five o'clock now here on Saturday evening. I'm nursing Nora, laying in bed nursing Nora. Um, she woke up from a really long nap, like 30 minutes ago. She took like a two and a half hour nap, so it was amazing. And yesterday she took a really long nap too, so I'm wondering if maybe her nap stretches are getting a bit longer. That would be amazing. I spent, well, first of all, Riley is the best, and he let me sleep in. He told me last night, he said, I'm going to let you sleep in tomorrow. I'll get up and get with Nora. So he took Nora out on a walk, and they had breakfast together, and then he went and did our Walmart grocery pickup and I didn't get up until 11 a.m. That's like, <laughs> I have not done that in, since before I had Nora. So it was really, really nice to get some really good sleep. And then while she was napping for a while this afternoon, I worked on sorting some orders so that I could get those um, shipped out. Um, I was gonna say Monday, but Monday is a holiday. So Tuesday morning, that'll be great. And then I also contacted 
the appropriate people to tell them that we are going to move forward with leasing the office space that we looked at. So this week we've looked at two different office spaces and we're going with the first one. So I will be sure to show you guys that. We are able to get into it in early March. And so sometime in the first couple of weeks of March, I will certainly be doing um, some filming in there. And I, I'm just so excited. Riley's listening to football if you hear him in the background <laughs> talking to the TV. Um, I cannot wait to show you guys it and um, decorate it and just make it my own and also buy like appropriate shelving and furniture and whatnot for my shop. I just, it's just such, it's going to be so great. It's going to be so, so, so good. I'm really, really, really excited about it. And I just feel really thrilled um, to have found such a nice, great place. So details to come on that in the next like six weeks or so. But um, that'll be a really fun new project. So anyway, I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for following along. Stay tuned for moving into my new office space slash Blair Lamb Design Studio and getting that all set up. I'm so, so excited and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Can you say bye bye? You say bye-bye. Good job. Bye-bye.